Hello Colors and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with this transfer report claiming that Barcelona are hoping to sign this 30 million euro rated uh, Brazilian wonder kid by name Audrey Santos who plays for Brazilian club Vasco da Gama. Barca are hoping to go for him next summer 2023. He is also a strong target for PSG and Newcastle United. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Usman Dembele, as it has been reported that the Barcelona baller have gotten international call-up from France after one year. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into that story, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, give the video a like and please watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Over the years, Barcelona have time and again signed talents from the South American continent, especially from Brazil. There have been several success stories why there have been some equally spectacular failures, especially in recent times, but that has not you know, dissuaded the Catalans from continuing to monitor the Brazilian market for the next best thing in football. Hendrik has been on Barca's radar for quite some time now and along with the Palmeiras wonder kid, Barca are also looking for another exciting teenager in Audrey Santos of Vasco da Gama according to Jones Foto. The 18 year old came through the ranks at the Brazilian outfit and has become a regular member of the first team set up this year, making 27 appearances across all competitions in which he has scored 5 goals as well. An all-round central midfielder who can assess several roles in the middle of the park, Andres Andre Santos is, you know, attracting interest from not only Barcelona, but also the likes of Newcastle United, Paris Saint-Germain, and even Aston Villa. Vasco da Gama tied him down to a new contract until 2027 earlier this week, but they would be happy to offload the teenage prospect for a sum of 30 million euros. But Barca at this moment are not in a position to shell out that kind of fee as per this report. But the La Liga heavyweights have already made contact with the Brazilian club as well as the players and to rush over a possible move. And why they cannot pay the fee right now, they are hoping to secure an agreement that will give them the first option on the midfielder for 2023-24. Barca might consider the possibility of a transfer in which they can you know, make the fee payments over several years and add lucrative bonuses. Loaning him back to Vasco for a season and two or two seasons could also be on the table as it might help the Barca get an advantage over their rivals. But they will have to battle the financial might of PSG and Newcastle who are in position to offer much larger sum to Vasco da Gama to sign Andres Santos. Barcelona never get tired of scouting Brazilian market for for high quality talents of course we know the history of brazilians in spain in barcelona and even real madrid you know most of them have been success even though there are few failures but most of those brazilians have been success rafinha being the latest brazilian to be a barca player you know barcelona have been monitoring some teenagers in brazil Hendrik have been one of them of course Hendrik have been linked to with many clubs and talking about this other guy who plays for Vasco da Gama, Andre Santos. This is not the first time actually that I've been talking about Andre Santos that Barca have been showing interest. Um, Barca continue to show a lot of interest according to this latest report. And they are saying that Barcelona are hoping, very much hoping, that they can get his signing done by the summer of 2023. You know, so it's never going to be easy. It's never going to be easy because we, the report is also saying that Paris and Germain are showing strong interest. Newcastle United as well, showing strong interest. And given the fact that he's rated at 30 million, it, it's going to be difficult for Barca to shell out such transfer fee for him. When we know PSG is around the corner, who can easily snatch him with the money that they have more than Barca. So. You know, Barcelona continues to show interest in Brazilian. They believe so much in Brazilian. I won't be even surprised that Laporta can do all that he could just to ensure that that transfer fee is available so that they can pay for that for that talent. Because it's Brazilian, just the name Brazilian already gives them the credit to join some kind of big clubs in Europe. That's why it's good to be Brazilian when it comes to um, you know football because they have already made a name for themselves. 
you know so let's see actually if Barca will succeed to overcome the rivals to get Andre Santos next year he's a, he's a midfielder by trade you know we know we really have some good midfielders already in the team well talented and a midfield department is full of depth already so I don't know if by that time it will be urgent for Xavi to look for a new midfielder or you know so let's see how it's gonna look like but Barca also keep eyes on Dresden such as um, Hendrik one of the teenagers who have been strongly linked with many clubs across Europe as well. Then on to the next story of discussion. Ahead of the first international break of the season, France have released their squad for their upcoming UEFA Nations League fixtures and Barcelona winger Ousmane Dembélé has been called up by manager Didier Deschamps. The 25-year-old has not played for Le Bleu since June last year when he picked up an injury while participating in the UEFA Euro 2020. However, he had been since overlooked by the French national team boss even though the forward was back in form earlier this year. With the World Cup on the horizon, France will play Austria and Denmark in the UEFA Nations League over the next couple of weeks. The encounters will act as preparation for the quadrennial extravaganza in Qatar that will start in November and the Shah has decided to record Dembele to the squad, naming the Barcelona winger among the 23 strong list of the upcoming neck of the upcoming set of fixtures Dembele has made a rousing start to the new campaign after resigning with Barcelona following the expiry of his previous contract on June 30 he has scored two goals and set up four more for his teammates in seven matches in all competitions the 25 year old of course was part of the France team that won the World Cup four years ago in 2018 in Russia and if he continues the same vein of form that we are seeing now at Barca, you know, there is a good chance that Dembele could be part of the squad that will look to defend that crown in Qatar later this year. Dembele will be joined by his Barca teammate Jules Koundé, who is also on the squad list released by the French national team. Barcelona Loni Antoine Griezmann, you know, has also been named in the squad by Deschamps despite the situation at Atletico Madrid where he has been playing less than 30 minutes in each game this season. Of course, it's no surprise that Dembélé will be called for the national team by Didier Deschamps in France. Of course, with the kind of form he is, he has not played there since June. We quite remember last time during the Euro, he picked up an injury, you know, that sidelined him. But since then, even when he came back and was on serious form, Deschamps did not even call him in the national team. But this time around, finally, he has been called to help the team out and seeing the kind of form Dembele is, Javi liking him a lot and the form that he brings, the assists and the contributions to the team is quite good. So it's no surprise that Deschamps have to count on him for the, um, for the national team selection, of course, because the international break comes after this weekend and there will be the Nations League in Europe. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.